And thank you. This is Goddesses Media, and I am your host, Fosung Elizabeth Cookie. Thank you for joining me on this character tutorial series, as I will be covering more combo videos revolving around the Advanced Variable Geo 2 series. To the left of me today, we'll be covering Shindo Saki, or Saki Shindo. She is one of my favorite underrated characters in the game. She is very strong, but you don't often see her in tournament play, mainly because this character does not have any infinite combo sets. However, I will be covering basic, intermediate, and advanced combo sets with her, as well as the type of character she is, what can she do during gameplay, and how to best utilize her powers when playing against people in a tournament, as well as others around the world. So thank you, sit back, relax, and let's enjoy the wonder of who Saki Shindo is. And thank you once again for tuning in to Goddesses Media Character Tutorial Series. Today we're talking about Saki Shindo and who is she as a character, what is she all about, and how to best utilize her in gameplay. But before we begin, I just want to say, if you are liking what you're seeing, please be so kind as to give me a thumbs up, ring the bell for notifications, and to also subscribe to my channel, as I will be continuing not only more coverage on the VG2 series, but also more character coverage on fighting games. A little bit about her. She is the epitome of the psychopath character in the variable GL2 series. She is a direct she is a direct knockoff of a Yori Yagami incarnate, a very female version of him. And she plays almost exactly the same with her own enhancements tailored for the VG2 universe. And I'm going to be covering a myriad of stuff with this character because you don't see her too much in tournament play, like I said before, because she does not have any infinites. But, might I add, not only is she the most strongest character in the game, or one of the most strongest, she has the most supers, she has two finals, and she has different types of normals. And so this video will be broken up into separate sections. Let us begin starting off with her basic set of combos and her basic set of normals. Alright, so let's begin with the normals. But before I do anything with the controller, I think it's fair for everyone to really see everything in the best quality that you can. So I'm going to enhance this screen here to full screen. There we go. Now we can see everything. So Saki is one of those characters that has two types of normals. You have your regular normals and then you have your enhanced normals and I will explain what that means. So this is her light, her light punch which is an elbow and then this is her heavy punch which most of her moves anyway are slashing. Then she has her standing kick. This is light kick right here and then of course her heavy which is an over arc. And then her crouching light punch, her crouching heavy punch, and then her crouching light kick, and then her crouching heavy kick, which is of course her trip. We're going to take Raimi right back to the center right here. Now we're going to get into the enhanced normals. An enhanced normal in this game is when you hold the directional pad in a sp specific direction followed by either a light punch or a heavy punch or a light kick or a heavy kick. And for Saki, it works by holding forward and light punch. So this is her forward light punch by holding forward, which is different from her regular light punch. Then she has her forward heavy punch in which she has a different animation frame. Then she has forward light kick which is the same she doesn't do anything different so this doesn't work and then she has her forward heavy kick in which she gets this which actually serves as a wrecka because you can hit it twice and you get a combo so by holding forward and pressing the heavy kick twice you get that by hitting it once you get only one hit but by not pressing forward and just pressing the heavy kick by itself, you get that. 
which is very important gameplay for Saki because holding the directional pad forward for her is going to unlock different types of combos. So now we're going to go into the special moves of Saki. Saki has four special moves in the game. She has the Rising Stiletto, the Stiletto Arc, the Assassin's Elbow, and the Sadistic Claw. So, of course, each one of these moves have a different frequency, a different strength, and of course, depending on which move that you do, will give you a certain amount of hits. So the first move we'll do is the Assassin's Elbow. That is done by performing a Shoryuken motion with any punch. The light version gives you two hits. The heavy version gives you four hits. Once again, the Assassin's Elbow is performed by doing a Shoryuken motion with any punch. The second move is known as the Sadistic Claw. So Sadistic Claw is Tatsu motion, any punch. Light version only gives you one hit. The second version, which the heavy punch, gives you two hits with an automatic knockdown. There's also a reset of combo potential after that, but I will show that further on in the character tutorial. The third special move is known as the Rising Stiletto, which is also performed with the Dragon Punch motion, Shoryuken motion, with Light Kick or Heavy Kick. The Light Kick version is only one hit. The Heavy Kick version gives you three hits. Do note that the Light Kick version of the Rising Stiletto can be used as a great anti-air. Now the last move is also known as the Stiletto Arc. The Stiletto Arc can be done by doing a Tatsu motion and any kick. The Light Kick version gives you three hits. The Heavy Motion also does give you three hits as well. However, the only difference is the traveling distance. The Heavy version travels a greater distance than the lighter version. Heavy and then light. Alright guys, now for the fun stuff. Saki has four supers and two finals. Yes, you heard me right. Four supers and two finals. The first super is known as the Super Sadistic Claw. The second super is known as the Super Rising Stiletto. The third super is known as the Super Stiletto Arc. And then the fourth super, which is a hidden super, is known as Unnatural Roller Coaster. The first final is known as Geyser From Within. And then the second final is known as You Die Now. So, let's start with these supers. The Super Sadistic Claw. This is performed the same way you would perform the regular Sadistic Claw, but of course with the super button or pressing two punch buttons at the same time. The second one is known as the Rising Super Stiletto, which this one is the same way you would do the Rising Stiletto, but with the super button. And then Super Stiletto Arc. And now for that hidden super. Not sure if anyone ever discovered this. This is done by performing a double 360 in reverse. Unnatural roller coaster. The first final, Geyser from Within, is done by doing a double 360 clockwise while pressing punch. And then, of course, my favorite final, which is called You Die Now, which is a semi arc motion and semi arc motion again. So you want to do a half circle back, half circle forward. And that is also done by pressing two kicks or the super kick button. That move could be a little bit confusing, so I'll do it again by pushing Raimi on this side. And remember, semicircle arc in, semicircle arc out. Yeah. 
And yes, these super moves can be chain linked one after another. We'll move Raimi to the beginning. One of the best connecting three supers is Sadistic Claw into Rising Stiletto into Stiletto Arc. All right, so now we're gonna go into some basic combos with Saki without any special cancels. Now comes the moment most people are waiting for. I'm now going to combine all the collective knowledge of everything that I shared about Saki in this character tutorial, showing you some of the best combos that can be performed on an intermediate and advanced level. Please keep in mind, there are a lot that I do know that I do not want to share in this tutorial, only because I want to leave the player, that's you, up to your own imagination to figure out new and uncharted realms with his character. You may discover some things that I've never discovered, but for what I do know, I will share some of it here and leave it all open-ended for interpretation so that when you decide to go and explore this character for yourself, you may be imaginative with your own abilities. And thank you again for tuning in to Goddesses Media Character Tutorial Series as I covered Saki Shindo of the Advanced VG2 series. As you can see, I'm wearing something totally different right now. I took a couple of days to construct this video. And so if you see the beginning of the video, I'm wearing something different and my hair is down. I wanted to put my all into making this tutorial because I truly love Saki just as much as I love the Raimi Johanna in the previous video that you saw. I did some stuff a little bit different this time in this video, and I hope um, I've improved upon my editing skills. If you like this video, I ask that you please be so kind as to give me a thumbs up. Please ring the bell for notifications and subscribe to my channel, as I will not only continue to cover the Advanced VG2 series, but also more in the world of covering tutorials on characters from fighting video games. My cornerstone is mainly female characters, so please look forward to seeing these character tutorials that I will be releasing um, over time.